this hat. With a this bunch is of his hat. This is what he looks like with the hat on. Okay. <laughs> and what did you learn today about how to put this together? It's hard. What was that? But you did it? <laughs> yep. It's not fair that only college students get to do make a so we thought we wanted to bring it to middle schoolers. We all had a lot of fun, and I'm incredibly grateful for all of the hard work that the mentors did. It's a time in your life when you're trying to figure out what you want to do. We discovered this RoboZoo idea online. We didn't know how much work it was going to be, luckily, and then once we started doing it, we couldn't stop doing it, so. Make sure it's in there completely. He's happy, but since you touched him, he's mad. Oh no. Now he's happy because he has a stink. <laughs> Everything actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Turtle rattlefish. So it's a combination of a turtle, a rattlesnake, and a fish. And then they finished it and they didn't stop. They added this whole like anemone enclosure for it to go into that has LEDs and it shakes when it comes too close. So for most complex robot, we have Donovan. They were really enthusiastic about it, so I think that our idea of a makeathon for middle schoolers really did work well, and it really engaged with them. For most of the camp, I didn't know what their robot was because they wouldn't tell me. This morning, I correctly guessed what it was, but they threw out a red herring, and I was off the trail again. So, for the scariest robot, we have the scary teddy bear back here. <laughs> And they just really wanted to work on the robots. So we had to do a lot of on-the-fly adaptation of our planning and less me lecturing to the students, which was good because I lost my voice this weekend. We have the most realistic robot, the lion. Good job, guys. I have never volunteered with kids, but I really love working with robots, and I did a bit when I was in high school, so I thought it would be a really cool experience to be able to teach these guys about robots. Something that will really come in handy for anybody once they grow up. Keep exploring it. I hope they keep with it. Clayton told all the campers that engineers like to fail, and they like to fail early. It's okay for something to go wrong, we just want to find out in the beginning and have time to fix it and engineer it. And I think the best group that exemplified this was the Panther group. They started off making a tiger and it just wasn't going in the right direction and they all recognized it and they all worked together and they changed it into a panther and I think that panther is awesome. They also get the best teamwork award. They enjoyed the last three days, it's awesome. I think this is one of our best outings for the past two years. Uh, if you get to his nose. Okay. Because it's <laughs> Amazingly confident and the ability to move on and be successful in life, which meaning that they'll be a, a pillar to society and give back. Since a fellow alumni now of Ohio State University, I'm really pleased that this event was put here and implemented very well. It was so wonderful just because of all of everything that you guys did. We wanted to thank you all. Thank you guys.